Hello folks. The word for today is focus. We sent out a survey weeks ago and asked you what would help you to develop habits of spiritual health and you said, we need a better focus. Our mind wanders. We can't concentrate like we'd like to. So we want to talk about how to focus better today, especially when it concerns our spiritual health. <laughs> Have you seen the movie Up? There's a dog in that movie named Doug. Squirrel! That's how I feel like through a lot of my daily activities. All I remember about that movie is that the main character looks like Ed Asner. <laughs> my focus, inability focus. to focus. Bring it back. Okay, let's focus. We're gonna focus. I do think focusing in our world today is extremely difficult. There's so many distractions going on, so many things to try and keep up with and follow. I almost feel like Learning to live with focus is like the new skill to master. It's a discipline that we have to learn. Mm -hmm. And we have to train ourselves to focus yeah, definitely. on the matter at hand. On but we're talking about spiritual things. health and spiritual growth right. in this, right. this bit. And so I think what we would like to do is to try and give some suggestions that might help you focus better yeah. when it comes to your spiritual health. I used to think that having focus was more project-based. What I mean by that is, you know, in school, you need to have focus and study so you can pass this exam. Now I'm starting to believe that focus is more of a lifestyle, and it begins with an affirmation of our roles. I like that. I like that. An affirmation of our roles. Yes. You know, I think that's, <laughs> I think that's something that will help us to focus. Mm -hmm. is if we remember that we have various roles and one of those roles, one of the very important roles that mm -hmm. we fill is what? Being a follower of Jesus. Follower of Jesus. Yes. Uh, and sometimes I think we neglect that or we forget that. Uh, so I think, I think you're onto something, that this is a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It begins with identifying our roles and reminding ourselves through the day what those roles are. You know, I think being a follower of Jesus, we sometimes confuse it with just something that we do. But I believe it's something that we are. Then maybe that will change our perspective right. on how to be more focused when it comes to investing in our spiritual health. There are times in your day when you focus on being a mother. You're right. A parent. An employee. Right. There should be times in our day when we focus on being followers of Jesus. Definitely. I think that's the point. So, suggestion number one would be... Remember and remind yourself often of the roles that you fill. And one of those roles, the most important role, you are a follower of Jesus. You are a child of God. Our second suggestion is really a corollary to the first one. That, and that is that we must allow our roles to shape our daily routines. So, once we become more aware of who we are, we are followers of Jesus. We fill these various roles. Then we take the next step. We allow those roles to shape what we do mm -hmm. in the course of a day, to shape our priorities, to shape our daily routines. So what you're saying is, okay, so we've affirmed, we've affirmed our role that we're a follower of Jesus. Yes. And now because of that, there are things that will happen throughout our daily routine that support that role. Exactly. It's a commitment to this priority. Right. It's a commitment to the role right. that, that I have agreed to, to fill. Right. I mean, there are certain things that we commit ourselves to doing every day because we are a parent or because we are an employee. Mm -hmm. What are the things that we commit ourselves to do every day because we are children of God? What are they? Our roles must inform our priorities mm -hmm. and they must shape our daily routines. The third suggestion that we have is to do things 
to make it easier to follow through on your priorities. Following through on your priorities. That's Elaborate. tough, isn't it? That's tough to do that. Yes, it is. I mean, we, we are aware of our roles. We want our roles to inform our daily routines. Mm -hmm. We want our daily routines to support our priorities. But following through on those priorities, <laughs> that is a different matter. So our suggestion here is to do things that make it easier to follow through on your priorities. Right. And make it hard on yourself not to follow through on your priorities. Right. There's this book that I really love. It's called Living Into Focus. And I'll have to link that below in case you want to read it. It's really good. And the author is talking about a conversation he had with a young man. And the young man was talking about the extraordinary non-addictiveness of spiritual disciplines. Hmm. He was saying it's, it's really easy to get addicted to surfing the, the internet, watching TV, you know, things like that. But it's really hard to get addicted to things like Bible reading and prayer. Okay. And I think what he was meaning was it's super easy to watch TV. It's super easy to get on your iPad, get on your phone, get on social media. It's super easy to do those things. But it's not always easy to sit down and connect with God because that takes a lot of intentionality. Well, it's almost like we're putting up high boundaries or high mm -hmm. walls that we have to scale for those things that are not priorities. Yeah. But those things that are priorities, we make the fence low. Definitely. So it's easy for us to climb over it. I like that. Okay. I like that. So each of us will have to decide for ourselves, I suppose, what is it that makes our priorities easier to accomplish or to follow through on? Suggestion number four. Okay. We need to learn to say no. Learn to say no. We've already established that we have certain roles that we fill, one of which is we are children of God, followers of Jesus. We want those roles to inform our daily routines and our priorities. Mm -hmm. But when we say the word priority, it means we leave certain things out. There are some things that are not priority. Right. And those are the things that we often have to say no to. Definitely. Makes sense? It does. Well, and I think we want to be everywhere. We want to be doing everything. And saying no means that we are deciding to give our best efforts to the right things. That's right. So saying no means we're going to miss out, you know, on some things. And yeah. I think we have to be okay with that. Right. Um, but it also means that we are giving our focus to what really matters. I agree. I've got a quotation for you. Okay. Let me get it here. It's from the poet and philosopher Goethe. Goethe. And here's what he wrote. Things which matter most must never be at the mercy of things which matter least. Amen. <laughs> Suggestion number five is to try and be focused on one thing at a time. Just one thing. Are you a good multitasker? No. <laughs> no, I have a hard time doing two things at once. Yes. Well, and that's the thing. We can do two things at one time. You know, for instance, we can walk the dog and have a conversation. We can wash the dishes and listen to the television. You know. The thing is, is we can't multi-focus. I like that. That's a great distinction. We can't focus on two things at once. No. So when it comes to our spiritual health, try and let that be the only thing that you are doing. Right. That is all you're focused on. Suggestion. Number six, and it is that we want to remember the great value of focusing on spiritual things. Hmm. Good. You know, to focus on anything, 
but especially to focus on spiritual things and spiritual health. Mm -hmm. If we'll just remind ourselves of the payoff, of the benefits, of the value of our being engaged in this or that mm -hmm. activity, it will help us to focus. It definitely. Well, I think I have found that goes for a lot of things. You know, what's really hard, what's really challenging, what I really have to work at seem to be the things that are the most rewarding. Right. And that can be applied just as easily to our spiritual health. Right. Too. And if you can keep those rewards in mind mm -hmm. and in view, they will help you to focus on the task at hand. I like that. Whether it's prayer or Bible study or any kind of a spiritual discipline. Mm -hmm. If you can keep in mind the rewards, then it will help you to focus. I like that. Okay. Well, those are our six suggestions. We hope they've been helpful to you, and we'd like to hear from you, right? Definitely. If you've got some mm -hmm. good suggestions that will help us to focus on spiritual things, to improve our focus, let us know.